Welcome back to a vlog. Found a lovely forest park up uh, just near York. Very peaceful. I know it might seem weird because obviously no solar's going on, but we just needed some shade from the sun. Uh, we'll be traveling on from here sometime tomorrow. So uh, the beta bee will kick in and give us power and stuff like that. But it's so warm today. Got over 32, I think it was 31, 32. So we just needed some shade. So perfect forestry shade. <sighs> be nice in a quiet location in nature as well listen to the birds chirpy cheep cheep and such like Do you have a nice walkie? Oh, it's warm out there. <laughs> Isn't it? It's warm in here as well. It's only a quick one. But yeah, he's loved it. I oh, miss that's what she said then. Well, it's only a quick one. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. Yeah, it's uh, thankfully because of that white floor, um, meant that the floor's not hot to walk on at oh, all. Okay. So he was alright with that. But it's just a little bit too warm for much, uh, a little bit too warm for much walking. I'm talking about. I'm talking. You? Yeah. So, but I remembered. You see that I've left an early full cup of coffee on the table. Oh no. So gutted. So I'll uh, I'll finish that and hopefully it'll cool me down a little bit. Yeah. But it feels nice to get back out walking again. Yeah. Even with a sore knee. Oh. In the meantime. I'm editing the video you've already watched. <laughs> <laughs> yes, exactly that. Bloody melting. Yeah, um, it's a very hot day and today we've decided to burn off the brand new oven which means we've got to have it on full for 20 minutes so I have sweat in places I didn't even know I could sweat. We have brownie mix ready to go in along with some um, chopped up Twix that will be, they will be chopped up and I'm going to put them on the top so I'm literally doing the exact same as I did with the first lot of brownies um, if I can find the picture that I took of them because I didn't really think much of it I'll get John to put that on the screen right now in you go first thing baking in the new oven whoop, 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 whoop. do well Alexa Set reminder for 28 minutes. Well, got the afternoon sun streaming in through the window. Excuse the dirty pots on the coffee maker. Well, this is what we've got. It is crispy and gooey. So look at that. So, I'll give you sticky side up. Sticky side up. Still warm. So how is it then, babe? Can't speak right now. It's mm. no words. <laughs> I need more to uh, give more. Give more. Yeah. To decide more. Mm. Well, um, we have more. I am so excited. Like so excited. Pizza. Look. Ready. Look. Pizza in the gosh darn oven. Norm. See you in 10 minutes. 10 minutes in a normal oven, does it say? Yeah. This is going to be a test. Then, so see uh, what the um, comparison is to what it thinks it's going to take. See, this is all the stuff I've got to work out before I start doing full roast dinners, you see. Yeah. So at least I know 
how long to put things Gasmark in. Gasmark 7 or 240 actually means Gasmark 2 or 110. Yep, I'll start <laughs> to get my Sharpie out. <laughs> look at the the oven. Draw, don't draw on the oven, man! It's taken 13 minutes when the packet said um, 10 minutes or so, so really, really not that much longer than um, than we anticipated so I can quite happily have that and I suppose there's always a little bit of how you like your pizza we like ours so it's nice and and brown but not too crispy on the outside otherwise you can never eat it so they look wonderfully done obviously our plates are way too small but then we're not getting bigger ones because otherwise we would just eat the whole world on a plate there's a big empty chair where my husband should be because he's decided to take this time now to go find a tiny bit of signal to upload a video no one had pizza in the oven so answers and come in the comments below of uh, how possibly annoying that is the line's ready to go look how yummy that looks now mm. and i just need to say this stuff it is vegan blue cheese sauce and everyone knows I'm not vegan but you know it's, it's never a bad thing to cut down on your uh, dairy um, but this is shelf stable sauce it does say it needs refrigerating it's never needed refrigerating it's oh well I've got it in kind of a cool cupboard um, it is the most stonking dressing on ev everything I've used it to dip chips in it I put it on southern fried chicken wraps with barbecue sauce as well because that is a taste explosion you want to try but yeah this stuff this Sackler vegan blue cheese dressing is amazeballs literally the best thing ever mmm pizza we nearly missed it so yeah in our attempt to not be um, forgetful youtubers <laughs> I've just remembered that we needed to film <laughs> Eating pizza. Eating pizza. Pizza from In our the oven. Bar. Yep. Whoop, whoop. So what do you think then? I think it's really good. Yep. Tasty. Pizza's a good pizza as well. Yep. Cooked all right. Yeah. Winner winner. Pizza for dinner. Yay! Or tea. Brownies next. Yeah. There's a lot of colours. I don't know where to go. See a lot of colors, only feeling blue. There's a lot of colors, lost within a haze. Don't rely on others to get you through the maze. The dreams are not the same for me. So we've just arrived at the Yorkshire Air Museum and Allied Forces Memorial, which Mandy's really excited about because it's also um, a former World War II Bomber Command Centre. Bomber Command Centre! So uh, that means there's going to be lots of things that Mandy obviously is quite excited about. Oh, you know, we've had to come really early this morning because it's, you know, hot. Hot, real hot. But the really dog friendly, the guy in the door just said, fetch your dog in, there's water bowls around everywhere, there's loads of shade and it just can't go in the cafe, which is totally understandable. Yeah. So. so 12 quid each to get in. Yep. So we're going to pay our way to get in now and then go and have a shifty round. Yes. So that's really cool. So it's £12 admission. Well, look, it's valid for a year. So it's 12 months admission. 12 quid. You're up in the sky, I'll carry you home, home to the mountain near. And soon, my friend, you'll see them again, the ones you left behind, the ones you left behind. And I'll sing for you.
Like the planes and everything. Pretty warm inside here at the moment. Sweaty in it. Yeah, it's not good. It's cooler inside than it is outside though, yeah, so I'm happy about that. Bit of that. Had to Have carry us? him across the car park. Yeah, <laughs> we didn't get little paws all oh. burnt. It was quite oh. good inside because a lot of the floor was um, concrete, really concrete, that? white concrete, wasn't yeah. it? So I mean, I kept taking my flip flops off and and checking it out, and then I did it on a bit of the car park, and it's like, nope, mate, oh, you get <laughs> <laughs> carry him on. Yeah. Have a nice time? Yeah, that was brilliant. That Some is a cracking stuff, little man. museum, that. Mm. Really like it. There's a little bit about everything, and it's obviously all because it was a World War II station, and it's all about that, but it's also all about the history of flight and mm. how the airships were designed and gun turrets were designed and all that kind of stuff. So I was geeking out properly about geeky, all of that. Geeky, geeky, yes. Very, very good stuff. Aww. And we've got ice creams and souvenirs. Um, and now we've made it all the way to Helmsley mm -hmm. for a little tour of Yorkshire. Yes. And um, I'm going to do some editing for the next couple of days, or next day in a bit anyway. Nice. So um, you can go and explore. And have a look round and see something new. Shop for tat, probably that means. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no doubt I'll have a camera thrust in my hand. Yay. Yay. So we are in Helmsley, which is beautiful. On the park right there, you see that? John is uh, working away and I'm going to have a walk round and uh, see what we can find because it looks beautiful. Well, first of all, I need to find a chemist because I keep getting bitten to death by things. Yeah, so, I don't know if you can see that from her. Not particularly nice. And I've been bitten on my foot. Like that. So, uh, I hate feet. Sorry about that if you hate feet. So I am off to find a chemist. Apparently there is one in the local doctors. So I'm going to go there and see if I can get something. Because the stuff I got in Spain seems to be just to stop the itching and I need a bit more than that. But yeah, staying here. I've got past all the recycling. Um, we got here at four o'clock yesterday and it cost six pound to stay till four o'clock today. Which I think is a bit of a bargain got proper home parking spaces you're allowed to be there you're just not allowed fires and you're not allowed to be rowdy so I'm fine with that I can uh, I can do without them for now some toilets just there I think they're closed at night but we didn't need them um, and we had a little bit of a mooch but because it was Sunday all the shops and everything were shut none of the pubs served food so we just treated ourselves to a, a little chippy tea because we'd been driving a little bit during the day so so yeah see what uh, Helmsley has to offer.
lovely and warm out there. And considering it's a Monday, it's um, it's busy. I suppose it's holiday season, isn't it? In the in these cute little towns. So I managed to have a, a bit of a look round. Got myself some bike cream. All the bike creams are available. So uh, my arm and my toe are feeling very, very grateful for that at the minute. Um, yeah, managed to get a, a few little bits of uh, of things. There's a, an event coming up and uh, managed to buy some things to get ready for that. Can't say much about that because I think they might watch these videos, so you know. Um, this video will be out way after his birthday. It'll be out way after his birthday, won't it? Ah, uh, that's all right then. So, so it's Dave when my nanny's with his birthday. So I bought him a present. There was one saying, so you're going to be 90, and I thought, <laughs> until yeah, I get yeah. that. <laughs> but no, I think, I think that one should do the trick. So beautiful little shops um, in, in Helmsley, really, really good. And then I thought I'd be really clever, not walk back via the castle, because there was a beautiful castle here, it's an English heritage thing. Um, and there's a lovely little back way from the car park to get there. But I thought I'll walk back on the main roadway again because there's a lovely little ice cream shop right by the car park. And guess what? Closed today. So I was going to be a lovely wifey and bring back a um, a waffle cone with rum and raisin ice cream in it for John while he's editing. Did I hear rum and raisin ice cream? You did. Did you see any rum and raisin ice cream? No. It's <laughs> missing. No. I know it's closed just today as well. I am sick to death of being bitten. So I have gone to my trusty little knowledge place called Google and Pinterest to see what I can find. And I know, because um, I keep in lemon eucalyptus oil, uh, it's a great flea and tick repellent. You've got to be really careful with where you put it on the dog. Um, so I looked into it and apparently it is really good for mozzies, horse flies and ticks as well. So. I'm going to rustle up some of that and it is really really simple got a little four ounce spray bottle and in there you put in two ounces of vodka this is my special cheapo um household vodka <laughs> emergency technically um two ounces of distilled water so just boiled and cooled water will do fine for that um a drop of pure vanilla essence and then about 20 drops of the um, lemon eucalyptus oil. Put that all in. You'll find that the oil sits at the top. You just give it a shake and then you spritz yourself with it. It won't stain your clothes, but it will stop you from being bitten by midges. So as John and I tend to get eaten to death uh, at bedtime, even though John goes round and zaps all the bugs in the van before we go to bed, it still needs a bit of a help, I think. So I might even do bottom of my sheets and things like that to try and see what we can do to keep them away and as I've got all of that stuff in all the time it's practically a free top up for me to uh, keep doing it and seeing if it works so I'm gonna get some made up dead simple and see if that does the trick because I'm sick of being bitten sick of it chin <clears throat> got my water in there ready I know you don't need me to tell you how to pour things into a bottle but you know I wouldn't be finishing my story if I didn't Okay. Got to leave room in here to be able to shake it because if it won't um, blend in properly so you have to do it that way. Bit of vanilla. I should do the trick. And then the eucalyptus oil. Lemon, lemon eucalyptus, sorry, not just eucalyptus. Okay. So I'll just pop the spray bottle top on. And give it a shake. And then just give it myself a spray. So it's a nice mist. So that I can smell that it's, it's strong, but it's not going to be the type of thing that's going to keep me awake. As long as you don't put more than a 15% ratio of lemon eucalyptus oil to anything else in there, you'll be okay. Uh, anything above 15% can cause a reaction in your skin because it has to be sufficiently diluted. You can never use it neat or you will get a reaction. It has to be even less than that if you're going to use it on your pets, but speak to your vet if you're going to do anything like that because it can cause issues and things. But this, I reckon, it hopefully will be good enough for John and I to not get bitten to death tonight. Right, so we found some shade. There's the sun. 
here's the shade so this is good isn't it no hot nice and cool for boopy on the grass so not burning your feet is watch this ready oh now he does it like the three times before this he ran over there because he's an idiot isn't you buddy Been a lovely bike ride the bikes are amazing downhill they got really fast uh, which made us think on the way back going uphill might be a bit of a struggle and it was a little bit of a struggle you got to bear in mind that these things are like a bmx they've got no gears and little small wheels on them but how did you cope babe brilliantly <laughs> she's hiding <laughs> oh no, Jackie potatoes people! Because the oven's working! Oh yeah. Well, I say working, the oven's obviously an oven now! It's an oven! Not a toaster! It does oven thing! And now Wendy's attention really is on the sky because there's probably a Eurofighter or two. Euro fighter. It's just one, he's, he's having is a play it? on his own but yeah. he just keeps he just keeps going on and doing loops and barrel rolls and then he just all of a sudden as he's going he just goes and it's literally rattling the bar. We're up on the moors today. We of thought uh, we'd give the um, the rather solar lacking forest a bit of a, uh, a miss today and hope that we get a bit of breeze up here on the moors and yes it's breezy it's oh. hot but breezy this, so is, right. this was a good call yeah. because there's some lovely wind coming through coop is loving it he's fast asleep back there he's so cool he's had a little bit of a run around but when that yeah. breeze dies down it gets a bit too hot so we'll take him for a big walk in a bit yeah but yeah it's, it's nice. a very very good call all the views for all days. the views for days <laughs> all the all way the around solar, here all the all the um Wi-Fi connection-y data. Good internet. Good internet. All the good internet. Um, and um, and the breeze, yeah. So all the good things. Mm. All the good things, including potatoes. I just want my food now. Yeah. I know, well, um, yeah. I had to shut the door, so. I know. Anyway, day two of editing the uh, narrowboat vlog. Hope you guys liked that one. Let us know if you did or didn't. Bit of a different thing for us and what am i doing babe mandy is designing the cookbook layout where'd you go buddy he <laughs> just stood there wagging his tail buddy where'd you go <gasps> you got a stick yeah oh clever boy clever boy yeah you got a stick 
nice and breezy is mm. what I can describe this. Definitely better for Coop because it's breezy inside. I mean, the van has been freezing essentially yeah. with that breeze, um, but it means we can walk him more because he's not really had much walking at all. We played yeah. his ball in the evening at Helmsley, but that has been it. So it's Just nice to, to get him out. Cool, won't we? So yeah. now he can wander out. There's some sheep around, so when they are, he's on his lead. Yep. And when they're not around, he's out. That guy's having so much fun. He's having so much fun. <laughs> <laughs> oh, give him what, how much of those? They're like half a blinking billion, billion quiz. Or something, yeah. yeah. Give him that kind of kit and he's up there having loads of fun. Well, wouldn't you? Yeah, barrel rolls again, probably. Yeah, or if we finish filming, we don't want to go and have a look. Cool. So, yeah, up here, nice and breezy, and last night's sleep was. Um, Definitely quiet. My yeah. ears were ringing because there was no noise. Literally nothing at all. And we've been amongst trees for the past few nights in yeah. forests and stuff. So it's just all bird calls and really weird noises that you don't know what they are in the middle of the night. And then this is like nothing. Not even the, not even the the plane. No. No. Went out to uh, give Coopy's last wee last night, and then we were in the clouds. But it was weird because we were in the clouds. I couldn't film because it was pitch black. Yeah. But you could see the clouds passing past, you know, like a mist. But up above, you could see stars. Yeah. That was really cool. Yeah, it was just like, it was just because we're on the top of the hill, so the fog had just kind of settled there, hadn't it? Yeah. But we could still see all the stars. That was very, very cool. If you've ever seen American Werewolf in London, that's just what like I was that. thinking all yeah. last night. So we got back in the van and locked the door. Because <laughs> that's werewolf proof, apparently. Oh, yeah. <laughs> totally.